Welcome to the Momentum Multiply Titan Show, where we bring you all the updates of South Africa's most successful cricket team. Here's the lineup for today's show. Coming up on the show, we get better acquainted with the new Momentum Multiply Titan signings. Multiply Titans organizes a golf day with their stakeholders. Sunet For Yoon joins the Titans ladies squad. And finally, we catch up with the Titans ladies cricket team. For the Momentum Multiply Titans, it's always an exhilarating experience to welcome new players to the team. That includes Simon Harmer, who's no stranger to the Northerns. He played for the Northerns before leaving for Port Elizabeth to play franchise cricket, and that was the beginning of his cricketing career. The Test Cap Protea has had a stellar English County Championship career and is back in South Africa to bolster the Pretoria-based side. My name is Simon Harmer. I was born in Pretoria, born and bred, uh, only moved down to Port Elizabeth after school, um, grew up on a tennis court, my mom was a professional tennis player in her day and then a tennis coach, so was always in and around the tennis court and I think that's kind of where the, the love for ball sports started. Um, yeah, and I don't know how I got into cricket but it was just one of those things, I think every kid in South Africa either picks up a cricket bat or a soccer ball or a rugby ball. And, and um, just grew into, into cricket. So the first time that I represented Northerns was under nine. That's kind of where my, my journey started. I played um, age group stuff up until under 17 and then moved down to Port Elizabeth. Never represented the Titans. Uh, made my sort of first class and franchise debut with the Warriors. So yeah, coming back to Pretoria is almost like a full circle. Coming back to the place where I think a lot of my cricketing memories stem from. Um, so yeah, there's a, a bit of nostalgia as well coming back here. Always used to come down to Supersport Park to come and watch international cricket, domestic cricket. Um, the Titans legends, Gerald Dross, slog sweeping balls into this pavilion here. Martin van Jarsveld batting for days, Neil McKenzie, the list goes on and on. So um, yeah, it's uh, a bit surreal to be back in, in the sky blues, but something that I'm uh, looking forward to. Ayabulela Kamani's cricketing career started in King Williamstown, where he was part of the Baker's mini crickets. That's when he fell in love with the game and is another acquisition from the Warriors, making the move up from the Eastern Cape. He made his first class and list A debut in 2010 and then his T20 debut in 2011, which kept him in the sport of cricket. Okay, my name is Ayabulela Kamani. I was born in King Williamstown, um, a village called Ding location. Um, up upbringing was like any other village village boy, um, playing on the streets, playing sports till late hours of the day. Um, interested in, my, in, in the game uh, grew because of um, of watching Makaya. Um, Makaya is and was well, was my neighbour uh, at the village and I just uh, I grew up knowing his, his, uh, his story and his career and I followed cricket um, through that and the interest grew. Franchise cricket, I, I, I joined actually in 20, 20, 2011, I joined the Warriors um, and that came through just performances um, for, for border, border cricket, and I think now they called the Inyati Eastern Cape. Um, just through performing there and I joined the Warriors and then I've, I've recently joined um, obviously the Titans now at uh, this year 2021. For the new players it helps a lot that they're coming into a team that's famous for winning but it also raises the bar and pressure for them to bring in their best performances. It's always good to have new players in, the, in your squad um, and I think um, for instance a guy like Simon brings a lot of experience. Um, he's played Lots of cricket in the last few years. Um, he's taken over 700 wickets in his career. Um, so, you know, you cannot substitute experience uh, like that. And I think in terms of his professionalism as well, he brings a lot into the team space or into the change room. Um, he's a guy that uh, takes responsibility and accounts for every action that he takes, which I enjoy as a coach. Brilliant piece of fielding by Harmer. Sees the end of Lewis deploy. All of a sudden, Southwestern Districts, they are in massive, massive trouble. 
I think you can expect a fighter, a passionate, never say die type of character. Um, I'm very much a team man. I really want to make this place home. I want to make it an enjoyable environment for, for every player, for the coaching staff and also for the fans to come in and, and really enjoy the brand of cricket that we're going to play. Not that I'm going to do that myself, but you know, I want to I want to bring a level of performance and a level of professionalism and try and just raise the standard a little bit. If I can only do it by 1%, it's better than nothing. So um, I'm really going to sort of try and raise the bar while I'm here um, and try and make sure that I leave the place a better place uh, than I found it. In terms of Aya as well, he's a guy that brings lots of energy into the group. A guy that's passionate, uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, and uh, you know, those are the things that the coach cannot coach a player. And it's, we're blessed that we get players that come in and they bring that element into our change room. And it's always nice to see that, you know, uh, whenever they're given the opportunity, they always give 120% um, to make sure that we win matches. Obviously, our start hasn't been what we would like it to be, but you know, we, we're hopeful in that um, for the cricket is not once off, it's a, it's a marathon, so we'll catch up. We got them boys, slower ball from Aya Kamane. And Khalim make no mistake. When Manda, the coach, did uh, speak to me about, about possibly uh, coming inside, I didn't hesitate, I don't think. Um, um, I really grabbed the opportunity and packed up everything and just decided to, to, to come inside. Um, you find I bring a lot of positive energy to the Titans. And I bring a lot of um, just, just, just a lot of fun and a lot of in energy. Um, I'm not the, the loudest of guys um, in the group, but um, I do bring a, a different energy to, to, to the guys and um, I think the guys have enjoyed it. Uh, we've got a youngster that come in, Jordan Herman. Um, he's come in, he's showed that he belongs. He's, he's um, basically taken the bullet by his horns. Um, he showed us that he can actually uh, bring value into the squad. Um, there's a couple of guys that have also come into our squad um, uh, also that um, you know carry a lot of value with them. Um, and obviously now there's a lot of opportunities for the guys, seeing that there's a lot of guys going up to the pro tiers. Um, it's given these guys some opportunities to come and showcase what they can do. Uh, it was nice to see them putting their hand up in the T20s and also um, now in the four-day campaign as well. The players are becoming familiar with the Titans culture and their confidence in upholding it. Yeah, it's a very welcoming environment. Uh, I think the administrators here are probably the best in the country. Um, so I've really been made to feel welcome in the initial stages and then obviously the guys in the change room um, a couple of familiar faces, Chris Morris, who I played with um, at school. Um, I had Kamani that I played with at the Warriors. So they are, and obviously I've played against everybody domestically before um, I went over to the UK. So I think we, we all sort of know each other, but it's really getting that sort of care factor, if I can put it like that, and, and getting to know one another. Um, but it's, it's felt like home from a, from a very early start. I've actually really, really enjoyed um, my my initial initiation to the team. Um, I immediately fitted in. Um, I think because I'm a bit older now, but um, I've, been, I've played for a bit longer, um, it made that easier to sort of fit in with players um, because you, you get to know players off the field when you play against them. Um, so I just I leaned on to the guys that I, that I, that, I, that, I, that I did get to know and. Everybody else also just um, received me very well, um, and obviously I moved up here with Gian, uh, Gian Cluti, um, also was at the Warriors with me, and Simon Harmer, who, who did play at the Warriors um, for for a long time as well. So that made it more comfortable for me to move up, um, and yeah, like in general, the guys are a, a great bunch of guys. Um, I've made already um, quality friendships off the field with, with the guys. He's had a heave ho, fielder coming in. That is brilliant. What an outstanding catch diving forward. Junior Dahl is on for Jonas Bain for some reason. Who knows why? The Titans has a, a history of winning trophies and with that comes expectancy and, and pressure. And I think the biggest thing for us is to put silverware into the cabinet. 
as a team, um, as a professional cricketer, that's what you want to do. You want to win trophies. You want to look back at your career and say, I won X amount of trophies playing for the Titans. So that's, I think, the biggest thing for us as a team is to make sure that the way that we train and the, the way that we play is focusing on that, is winning trophies and giving the fans um, what they deserve. Obviously, now we've just finished off the T20 competition and got knocked out in the, in the semis, um, which was very disappointing. But um, from that, um, we, we are making a, a nice incline um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a squad. Um, we, as we, to compared to where we were in the beginning of the of the of the of the off season, so we are making a nice little incline. Um, but yeah, expect one or two trophies from the guys this season. Um, I'm, I really, I really, I really think we'll, we'll get one or two trophies. The Momentum Multiply Titans have an exciting squad for the 2021-22 season with some very interesting additions from across the country. The Sky Blues will be eager to get back to winning ways as they continue to build the core of a new squad to challenge strongly for domestic honours. It's time for a quick ad break, but we'll be back shortly with more from your favourite cricket team, the Momentum Multiply Titans. Recently, the Titans team synergized with their stakeholders and some of the players at Centurion Country Club playing golf while mingling and networking in a much relaxed environment. Only great golf was forecasted for the day. It's a great opportunity for us to, to interact with one another again and, and get out there. Obviously, having the players here is always a lot of fun. Um, you know, when you have some of the heroes that play sport, play sport professionally, they bring a little bit of a different competitiveness to it, but also gives us an opportunity to engage with them, and that's, that's always fantastic. But today, I think mainly it's just about building relationships again with lots of companies and lots of colleagues, lots of partners and friends, um, and have a bit of fun with one another. The Titans, they're, they're very good at looking after their sponsors and, and their players, and it's just nice to get everybody together in a social environment, spend some time together, have a beer and talk some nonsense, and and enjoy some competition out on the golf course. I think it's great to create a relationship with your sponsors. I mean, like I said before, they, they do a lot behind the scenes and it's a nice opportunity for us to create new c connections with people that you may have not connected with before. And it's just a great opportunity and it's a great day out. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to meet some new people and make new, new relationships. Jigs is extremely proud of his annual events. He does a lot of uh, PR, he does a lot of effort. Uh, I think it's the golf day with uh, the most effort that's been put in, so uh, I think it's amazing. And, and from a relationship point of view, it's great because we can spend a bit of time with Jacques and Pierre and the team, uh, as well as we've brought our own SAV customers, our bottle store owners, um, uh, to, to, to experience the day with us. Oh, it's, it's actually nice to play with no pressure and actually just enjoy ourselves for a little bit. So um, I think that's a nice part of it and I think it's a nice part that you know, where the Titans actively want the players to, to participate in this. So, yeah, it's, it shows the importance that the, the union places in their players, which is uh, always nice. Yeah, we've got a fantastic four ball. Dirk De Vos is, is with us as well. He also played for the Titans. Uh, we've got Gilbert Gomes and, and Sean Nell. So, so we're going to be pushing for lots of points. Today my group is all for momentum um, and I've always said that if you want to win a golf day, you must rather play better golf, no, rather select the right four ball. So that's what I hope I've done today is that we've managed to get the right, the right team. Hopefully my golfing goes well today. I think there's going to be a lot of expectation. I think I'm probably one of the lower handicaps around. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on me and hopefully, hopefully I deliver today. I'm very privileged today to be able to play with Jock Fool, the big boss, and um, my handicap is, is 18, I'm getting better. I was uh, much worse but since I moved to Pretoria from Cape Town, so it's going a lot better and uh, very looking forward to Jock. He normally beats me, so we'll see what happens today on the course. 
The gentleman's swinging abilities weren't too bad after all, despite the wet conditions from the rain, and it was nice to play the sport where business ideas were shared. The game's going well. I think uh, you know, it's a great cause, and um, it's also a great cause in terms of supporting the Titans. I, you know, I think that's uh, what's important, and uh, we're having a lot of fun out there. You know, making a par here and there, but as I say, more important to support the franchise. I mean, they, they're a great franchise. They've delivered over a long period of time, and they're still delivering. And an absolute honour to be supporting them on this day. The course is beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit wet. We had uh, some uh, good rain last night. I'm enjoying the day. What an awesome day! Things are going very well. It's a very nice, organised day. Enjoying it so much. But we've got it to a good start, but you know, this game you never you never take it for granted. So. Yeah, we keep pushing, but uh, oh, it's great fun. So just appreciate to be out here. Uh, enjoy some great company, great golf course, and uh, yeah, great day. It's uh, really been great. Uh, conditions of the course have been uh, really nice. Um, you know, despite all of the rain this week, it's uh, in absolute excellent condition. And yeah, just out here with the boys, networking well, meeting great people. Uh, yeah, just a fun day out. For us at Momentum, we're all about, about hoping people, helping people on their journey to success. Um, and obviously, lots of people will be taking different journeys, you know, over over this festive season. And we hope that they do them safely, you know, do them protected, you know, do them in a safe way. You know, take care of your health. If anything, what we've found over these last two years is that your health is really, really important to you. In fact, your health is your wealth. If you don't have health, you have you have no wealth. So look after your health. Look after your family's health. Have an opportunity to rest well with your family because I think your health gets better when you rest well as well. So use this time over December to to rest well, and, and we wish you and all the all the you know all the viewers who are watching this you know a really good a really good festive season. The golf day was everything that everyone expected and more. Beyond it, we wish the Titans team a fruitful partnership with all their stakeholders. South African Olympic medalist Sinead Filyun has resumed her cricketing career by signing for the Titans ladies franchise. The all-rounder represented the Proteas in one test and 17 ODIs. Her last appearance came in 2002. The double Commonwealth Games gold medalist is excited to join the Titans women's team and wants to use her extensive knowledge and experience to assist her new teammates to reach greater heights. When I started off my career, I was I was more of a bowler, um, but as the years changed and as I matured more, um, I became more of a of a batsman. Um, and I, my hand co eye coordination is very good still, so that is something that I'm very proud of. So I hope that I will make a difference in in the team. I have a lot of energy, <laughs> so I think that my energy that I bring um, can rub off to them. Um, I I strive only for perfection, and I. I, w I hope my work ethic that I put in will, will make a difference and to see, uh, to show them that you can only reach like really the top if you put in the, the hard work and the hard yards and nothing in, easy, in life comes easy. You have to work hard, that is for sure a dream of mine to, to play for South Africa and to put on that fresh Vidya shirt um, and I really hope I can, can stay fit, I can stay healthy and I can, can mean something for South Africa on the cricket field as I've done on the athletics field and inspire the next generation of athletes coming through and yeah, just make a difference in everyone's life. Sunet's incredible work ethic and mental strength is going to be a huge boost for the ladies oh. squad and there's little doubt she'll throw her full weight into her next adventure. We can't wait to see her in action. Uh Baron Frazier, who's the Titans ladies' new head coach, has been involved in the game for many years and comes with a wealth of experience. He's particularly excited to contribute to the growth of the women's game and help as many of his players as possible to compete internationally. It's actually been a fantastic experience for me. It was something that, as a young coach, early in my career, I never thought I'd get this opportunity. You always dream of moments like this and having the opportunity with these ladies. It's a fantastic bunch of young girls and younger women. It's been, it's been an eye-opening experience and it's helped me a lot from a growth point of view as well. It's forcing me into situations from coaching that you don't always think about and the challenges have been great for my personal growth and one of my big things is I always try and believe in being better than I was the day before. So with the coaching and having this opportunity, it's really forced me to really live that motto more and more every day. After looking at the bubble that you're just in, 
we are quite a young squad in comparison to other squads and I think the growth potential is something that you can't look past. Um, we had some young players that really stepped up and took the game forward and put their hands up for potential selection into higher teams and at 19 years old if you can do that what are you going to do when you're 22, 23 or 24? So having said that we had some good experiences with Sunei being around and just her, her experience rubs off on the other players and it raises the quality of everyone and then once you've been at that standard it's very hard to go back to what you were before. It's a very good vibe at the moment. We've got a new coach, Byron. Um, he's been very successful with the girls as well, just imparting his knowledge. Um, but no, it's been it's been wonderful being back, and it's always fun being here and at Supersport Park and, and training here. Yeah, he has a great energy. He gets along with us. It's always a good vibe going on. Um, trainings are fun, and obviously, when you're having fun, you tend to do to tend to do well. Um, also, he's got a lot of knowledge. I'm enjoying working with him, and I feel like I'm growing as a person and as a player. And I'm sure the other girls will agree with that. Yeah, we have a lot of youngsters, people aging from 13. Um, I feel like a tanny in the team now, but luckily not yet. Um, but no, it's, it's definitely great just to share knowledge that I've gained over, over my career and just helping the girls um, that's starting out with their careers now. Um, so it's very nice to just throw some balls and just help with techniques here, here where we can um, and just seeing the success they have on the field. I think that's a, it's a very nice feeling when you know you've helped someone and you know, it, it's coming off in the game. So no, it's been very good. I think when we look back a couple of weeks, they, they announced the, the extra contracts that's being handed out, the emerging teams getting contracts, the provincial players are getting contracts, and I think that's a very good step in the right direction for us. Um, and I think, you know, for the national team, we're getting players that's knocking on doors, um, people that's becoming professional with the contracts. So I think it's a, it's a very good thing at the moment, and with the MSL happening as, as well again, um, hopefully next year, after we win the World Cup and bring it back, um, I think it's very good to get the girls involved and to get as, as many girls as we can involved in the game. If you compare us to the men, they obviously are able to be professionals um, in the sport, whereas we kind of have to juggle it and as a result we can't put in as much work as we would like to and then the performances aren't as good as we would like them to be. Um, if we could just get our name out there, get people to see what we're all about, I think then we'll start getting noticed and start doing better. So already just with having those contracts available, it shows some of the younger ladies that are still going through school and are interested in cricket that there's a potential future in the game. So once you do that, you can get more of a base of players to select from. And once you do that, the bottleneck at the top becomes more of a competition. And then once you get that, it just shows that the cream of the crop will rise to the top and then more players will be competing for those positions. The ladies game has evolved to such a level where it's actually good quality cricket all of the time. And now even provincial cricket's getting to that level. So I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen in the next year, two years, five years, and 10 years, I think it's gonna be a whole different beast all over the place. I think we have a, a very good team at the moment and I think this is going to be our best shot. Um, the girls are fit, the girls are in four. We've seen at the Big Bash the girls that are there, what they're capable of. Um, so it's just very exciting to get the girls together in, in our camp in PE in December just to start our journey um, and just to start the training. And with I think with West Indies coming in Jan as well, we're going to see where we are as a team, what we still need to improve on. But I think it's going to be a very good World Cup. I think for once we're not going to be underdogs, we're going to be one of the teams to watch. Um, and that makes me very excited. The Titans have achieved unparalleled success in the past and with an experienced coach like Byron and a strong team, we believe they'll continue to do so in the future. That brings to an end this edition of the Momentum Multiply Titans show. Here's wishing you a fantastic festive season. See you in 2022.